welcome back guys to the camera video tutorial series and in this video in the last video we learned how to draw the structures in camera and in this video we'll learn about different templates already present in the camera so you can draw many things which are built in in camera so we're going to discuss those things today in detail so if you come over here in the main toolbar you see that stamp sign that's the templates or the other way you can access it from file open templates so if you click on that stamp sign you will open the templates and you come to advanced bio draw you can see that you can do a lot of biological drawings as well and like I can see the mitochondria here if you want to draw a mitochondria just click and oops look you can rotate it you can make really beautiful drawings wow so that's a mitochondria or oh, no, we write with that mitochondria all good we'll select it keep it on our side then templates now you see amino acids side chains I want to put in amino acid side chain I don't want to draw all of it so I just select this click over here and I got that side chain similarly amino acids anatomy wow you can draw bacterium stomach human being brain kidney digestive system and many more so I'd rather draw the skull oops <laughs> so then you see there are different animals probably you can draw a mouse and then inject something in it like doing in vivo studies we have um, we'll see what other options we have so if you look at aromatics you have these guys as well like fullerenes and those kind of things they are available in chemdraw this one looks like a c60 yeah so you have these things ready made you don't need to worry how will i draw that and then bicyclics these are pretty easy to draw and can draw like this one if you would have draw to draw it by hand manually it would take some time but you can have it from here then bio instruments mm -hmm. very good we have different bio instruments like we can put an injection in the in the mouse how will I make it smaller oh, yes so now I select that I can show that I injected something in the mouse so that is very handy tool then we have bio art bugs these guys which are necessary in chemistry so you can draw a, a full setup for your students or for yourself to show how I set up the flask and the hot plate and everything that is present here these are some more things condensers some funnels and of course you can draw conformers so if you want to draw Newman projections you can do that if you want to draw these ones seesaw projections you can do that as well very easily and then we have different cyclo uh, cyclopentadiene rings I mean these kind of 3d and then cycloalkanes we have DNA templates functional groups hexoses metallocenes ah, microorganisms we can draw a virus that looks pretty cool okay so now we have other options like nanotubes organelles phenyl rings polyhedra polypeptides rna templates 
other shapes, stereo centers, and supramolecules. All right, what about this one? Wow. So these are different templates which are already present in ChemBioDraw and you can access them very quickly. And they are very handy tool in ChemDraw. Like the, the best thing is you open a Word document and the copy paste is so easy that you just select whatever you want to copy. For example, I want to copy everything. Just select Control A, select everything, copy, come to Word, Control V, and see. I mean, it is really high quality, and you don't need to convert it to a picture. You can just directly copy paste in Microsoft Word. And now, you, if you will select, click on it, you will see here the option double click or double tap to edit. CS Chem Draw drawing. So if you double click on it, it will straight away open it. And I'll just delete that one. So now this change is in Microsoft Word document. You don't need to do anything. No save, nothing. Just close it. And come back to Word. Now you see that cyclophen ring, cyclophenol ring, oh sorry, CP ring is absent from here. So that is very easy and it looks really beautiful in Microsoft Word and you pretty much don't need to resize it. I mean, just copy paste and whatever size it selects, that's the best. Usually it is the best. You don't need to just drag it, like make it smaller or bigger. I mean, that, that makes things worse. So to make it beautiful, select a proper font format in CamDraw, like Wiley or SCS or whatever, and then just copy paste into Word document and that will look really beautiful. So. That's how you can draw different kind of art in ChemBioDraw. Just one more thing in in this video. So if we want to write something like uh, H1 NMR and C13 NMR. So you can see that the I want the 1 and 13 in superscript. I can do that pretty easily. So you just select one and here is the formatting bar on which you can center, align, font size, bold, italic, underline and then you have this is a subscript and this one is a superscript. So you click on the superscript, it is superscript now. You select 13 oops, and click on superscript, it is superscript now. And if you want to change the colors, for example, H1 NMR select, change color to blue, and C13 NMR, I want to change color to red. So that's how I can show them somewhere, like on the molecule, I can put two different values, one in blue, one in red, and that will under that will make it clear that the blue ones are the hydrogen NMR and the red ones are carbon NMR. So that's how we can write sub superscripts and subscripts from this formatting bar. And I think that is all for this video. We'll discuss more in the next video. Um, and I wish you good luck and happy drawing with ChemDraw. See you later. Bye.